One very important piece of setup is adding your website to Vbout and installing our tracking code. Now, Vbout's biggest technology or the most of our technology is actually what you cannot see happening in the background. That entails things like doing lead scoring, tracking website visitors, where they came from, pages they're visiting, how much time they're spending, their iOS or PC device, et cetera, et cetera. There's so much that we track, but that is contingent on you installing your website, uh, a code on your website. So let me show you how you can do that. Now, as in terms of requirements, you need access to uh, either your back end if you have some sort of a CMS like WordPress, and that's what I'm going to show you today. But really, it doesn't matter as long as you have access to a footer or a header file to install that code. Now, to add the website tracking code on the top right corner, click on settings, click on website tracking code, and here you're going to add your website. In this case, I'm just going to take lead buffer as an example and add. This is the tracking code. All I have to do is just copy it as it is. Don't do any modifications to it. There's a little copy option right there. And then you're going to have to log into your back end FTP or whatever you use. Go to your theme editor. In this case, I'm talking about WordPress and add that code right in here. That's it. It's all that is required. Of course, you have to save it. Make sure you back up your files before you do any edits. I always advise this uh, or have an expert set it up for you. We can certainly help you with this. So if you need someone from our team to do that, we're happy to get in there and do that work. In terms of your options or what happens after you do that, there is a secondary screen that's prompting you to what would you like us to track? Now, I do know some companies have compliance. Maybe they don't want to track link clicks or video videos like YouTube or Vimeo when people click on them. So you can tick some of these options on or off. Now, activating your heat map, that's an additional experimental layer where you can see how people are moving their mouse and where they're clicking on your screen. Very cool feature to have. Activating browser push notifications, and I have a full section on that. Very productive or very um, very cool channel so you can reach your end clients not only via email or via sms but also via web push messages okay if you have an e-commerce component into your website like woocommerce magento shopify or even your own custom you can activate our e-commerce component we have a whole new layer that gets opened up once you do that including doing automations uh, e-commerce automations, including e-commerce reporting, e-commerce tracking. So this is really powerful in case you are using e-commerce or you have an e-commerce site. You also have Google Tag Manager. Now, this one is used if you are if you've installed your Google Tag Manager, and I do have a full documentation on this, which you have to create an HTML pixel add the code in there versus adding it like I did here to the footer. And um, and that's that's pretty much it. So in this case, I installed it directly to the site, so I do not need this component, All right? Because I activated the browser push, I actually will see one additional screen. These are settings for browser push. I'll get back to that in a moment, like when to show it and so on, but I'll skip it for the time being. Now on the top right, or on the question mark right here, if I want to see how I can install it for Tag Manager, I have Tag or GTM. Oops. <clears throat> and it's a custom HTML pixel. You can install our code there and then go back and follow the prompt. Now once you've installed the code, you can click on Verify Installation. And you should always get that check mark right here. So if you click verify installation, uh, right now it's not installed. So it's giving me an X. That means we cannot track anything on your site, obviously. If it's installed properly, it's going to show a check mark. Now, this could sometimes be impacted if you have caching on your site. If you're using 
some sort of a component like an Elementor or a website builder that requires you to add that code in the tracking area. So please speak to your developers in terms to that and we can always kind of try to guide you ourselves if you ask our live chat. And this is it, very easy. You have the ability to add multiple site properties and track these differently in different capacities. We don't cap you on that for the most part. And uh, it's really important to unleash the tracking layer on Vbout.